Solving a problem regarding beta decay is really similar, but there's one subtle difference that you have to be careful for. Sodium-25 decays. If I consult my nuclide sheet, I will see that it decays according to beta. Na25 is going to give me a beta particle. Sodium is element 11. This means my other product would be 1225, <coughs> element 12 being magnesium. Here, you, know, you don't get the masses from my problem statement, you get the masses from this sheet. The mass of sodium 25, 24.98996. The mass of magnesium 25 is 24.9858.39. What you need to be careful of is don't include this. Don't add it in. The reason you don't add it in is this number, this nuclide mass, already contains that electron. And it's subtle and it's difficult for me to explain, but I just want you to remember, don't include the beta particle. So when I'm doing my difference in mass, I'm simply going to be subtracting these two numbers. So 24.98996 minus 24.985839 yields 0 0.004121 AMU. Now to finish the problem, I need to convert AMU to uh, mega electron volts and then also to joules. So to get my change in energy, 0 0.004121 times 931 yields 3.84 MeV. To convert to joules, I'm multiplying by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 13th. And this yields 6.14 times 10 to the negative 13th joules. This seems like a really small amount of energy. But remember, this is the amount of energy for one atom undergoing this reaction. It is rare in any situation that you only have one atom of something. So we can expect if we had any sort of measurable amount of this, far more energy would be released. Regardless, these two are my answers to this problem.